Let's take a look at how to use the TI-84 to generate the output needed for the analysis of variance table or the ANOVA table in order to calculate the test statistic and the p-value. So the TI-84 has a function built in in the hypothesis testing area in order to do that. But before we can use that hypothesis testing function, we first need to get data into our graphing calculator. This is going to follow example one that I posted in a previous video. Um, in order to get the data in, just recall we go to stats and we're going to choose edit. You can see that I have the data arranged in each of the individual lists. Now, when we do this, each of these lists represents an independent group. So we need to make sure that we arrange the data in that way. And if we have more than three groups, we would just use the additional lists that are provided in the graphing calculator. So once we have the, the data in our lists, respectively, we can go to the stats menu and we can go over to the test options. So you could scroll all the way down, but I know that it's at the very bottom. So if you hit the up arrow one time, that'll bring you to the very bottom. And that'll select the ANOVA function right there. Some of you may have a two-way ANOVA on your calculator. Just remember, we're doing one-way ANOVA. So on mine, it's just simply ANOVA, and I'll select that. And there's no dialog box for this because you can put in three or more independent groups. In this case, we had three independent groups, so we actually have to type in the actual list. So to get the list, what we're going to do is, if you notice above the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and the same color as your second button, is L1, L2, L3, up to L6, respectively. So we type data into list 1, list 2, and list 3. So we're going to go second, L1, and then we're going to have to separate that with a comma. Second, the number 2 for L2, separate it with a comma, and then second, and then the, the number 3 for L3. And we don't have to separate that with a comma, but we do need to close the parentheses right there. So this is saying do the analysis of variance using list one, list two, and list three, the data that's within those lists. And when you hit enter, this will generate the output for the analysis of variance table. So first thing that it gives you is the test statistic. This uh, point two right here is our test statistic. The p-value is given right here, that's 0.82397 or 0 0.8240 if we round it to four decimal places. Now notice your graphing calculator. I used treatments in the previous example, and they're using factors. If you recall, I said treatments, factors, and groups are kind of synonymous with each other. And it really depends on the software or the calculator that you're using, but these are the um, treatments essentially right here. So we have the degrees of freedom for the treatments, we have the sum of squares for the treatments, and we have the mean square for the treatments. So it's giving you all of those values that you need for the, the treatments right there. And if we use the down arrow to scroll down and take a look at the error, it's giving us the degrees of freedom for the error, the sum of squares for the error, and the mean square for the error. Now notice it, it does not give you the sum of squares total or the degrees of freedom total. If you need those for your class, you'll just have to use addition or you'll have to work out the formula in order to figure those out. This S with the X and the P, this is a form of a pooled standard deviation that we're, going, we're not going to use as a part of our calculations, okay? So this is how we do one-way ANOVA on the T.